Hello everyone, I'm going to be showing you how to set up your patient portal. We will first go to the app by selecting it on your phone or iPad. Now you'll select get started at the bottom. It will then have you enter in our phone number. Select the box at the bottom and enter in our phone number. This will take a few minutes to load, so please be patient. Now use the email that we have on file, or unless we told you different, and the password, either the one you know or the new one we gave you. It will now have you identify yourself by using your date of birth and click next. Now reset your password and make sure that you write this down so you won't forget it because you'll need it in just a few minutes. Also select a new security question. Now you'll check the box and select agree. Verification and then hit cancel here. Here you will enter in your username and the new password that you just set up. Click login and create a four digit PIN number so that you can use this to log in with from now on. You can use your thumbprint also if you'd like. Also, you'll have to enter in your phone number here. It will then send you a four digit code that you will enter into this box. Do not use this code that pops up. This was specific to this time. Now, this is where you can actually read through and uh, learn about televisits and phone calls that we will send through your patient portal. It's such a great feature to have, especially when you're not able to get into the office for an appointment. You can use it on a desktop, iPhone, uh, tablet, iPad, or any smartphone. These are the different options. Now, when it comes to having your actual appointment, you will see the televisit show up. It will be red like this. And then you'll select the appointment box here, just anywhere on that appointment at the top. You can do this up to 10 minutes before. Now you'll need to select start televisit. It will then ask you to enter in your vitals. You can enter in any vitals that you have. If not, you can select submit and then continue on to the next screen, which will then have you wait in a virtual waiting room for the provider to then enter the televisit. It changes on our end, so we are able to see that you are waiting for us. If you have any issues, please call the office and we will try to walk you through any additional steps. Thank you and have a good day and we'll see you soon.